What was your biggest message today? So today has really been around looking at three major trends. The one that's the really important one for me is um, predictive analytics, big data. If we look at it historically, typically we've had printed reports in our weekly or monthly management meetings. The future is about having real-time visualization of data so you can see how your business is performing today, not yesterday, and also then see how it's performing in the future. It's also about taking data from your industry, so looking at social media analytics, website click data, bringing all of this together to have one consolidated view and then you can actually start to make some real-time decisions. Business leaders have been under never as much pressure as what they are today to really perform and they have to have the tools to be able to do that and real-time uh, visualization of data is a critical part. So from a real estate point of view we've been really really slow yeah. at, at, at catching on yeah. um, and, and that's because we came from an era of uh, having listing folders and, uh, and everything was paper for us. For the people that haven't really caught on, um, what's the first things that they should do in looking at this sort of thing for the future? Technology uh, has impacted us in, at home uh, more than anywhere else in our lives. So we've seen how just how disruptive technology has been on so many levels. Um, I think there's a misconception actually that Gen X's and baby boomers perhaps are a little bit slower to take on uh, technology. The last 12 months have really seen uh, a real pickup within that generation. They're becoming more digitally savvy uh, than ever and they're really embracing technology. I think the first thing to do is if you've got a business and you've got people within it that are real social social media gurus or technology gurus, use them and get them to really start to propel you forward. It's around finding the people within your business that can really help you if you're not particularly strong in that area. And let's be honest, that's the same thing we've always had for years. You find the people in your business that have the particular strengths in yeah. something and you really pull that out and use it. As far as the, the real estate portals mm -hmm. and, and things like that, do you, do you guys look into that sort of stuff where, where we've got realestate.com, real estate view? domain, all, all seeking business from us? Yeah, look, we've seen a, a huge trend uh, online and digital is now a, a, a big part of where we are here in Australia. There's some really interesting statistics which I think sit firmly uh, as a big provocation for the real estate industry. We have some of the highest smartphone penetration here in Australia globally. Yep. We sit at over 80% smartphone penetration. We have 140% mobile penetration in Australia. We've got way more mobiles than there are people, mobile devices. Mm. So what does this tell us? This tells us people want to be connected to uh, via their mobile device. The real estate industry here has really tapped into that quite well early on. The apps that you've got, this ecosystem of apps that customers can log on online and check what's going on, view their properties, favourite the ones they really want to, and build a bit of a portfolio. The challenge for the real estate industry going forward is to develop that even further. Yes. It's to really focus in on the customer, find out what it is that they want, and really continue to hone that in. Customer experience, it's the big trend of the moment. You have to put your customer front and centre of everything you do. And live information to them. That's absolutely. they're screaming for, aren't they? There, there is no point now having information that's even a day out. Yep. It's yep. absolutely got to be real time. I was I'm actually in the process of buying a house at the moment, so I'm using these apps a I've lot. Got a card. Myself. Yes. Um, and uh, one of the things I noticed recently is you can now see historically all of the valuations, how that how those properties have been sold for within the apps. So yep. Every time that property that's fantastic. Fantastic. Yep. For the consumer, for the customer, that puts us front and centre. We haven't got to go to a separate place to find that data. It's about making that transaction that the customer has as frictionless as possible. Awesome. So Chris, um, I loved you today and you. Uh, hopefully you'll come back next year and we'll I see if everything that. comes true. <laughs> so uh, thank you. Thank Cheers. you very much. Thank Good you. To see you.